Welcome back to the finale episode of Mighty Master Yidama Kun Season 2. I know it took a long time, but we're finally getting caught up to Season 3 because there's 8 episodes out by now. But hey, I'm getting there. And in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the finale episode. But still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Last episode, okay. The episode before that, we had Clara... All right, we had a Claire moment, but the episode before that, right, we had a rooftop moment with Amity and Irma. And let's go somewhere together. So we get a little bit of dedicated Amity scenes to really hype up that ship, which is pretty much already sailed. Episode after, we go to Clara's place to bait me, thinking Clara still has some kind of contention in this. And then right after, <laughs> it's a bait episode and Amity, it's like, oh my god, please, please stop. Clara's already dead. But in Amity's mind, apparently she's still a rival. And it's fun to keep it kind of close because I think everybody knows it's a fucking rap, but it's fun that Amity thinks that there might be some kind of competition around. Very heartfelt episode. I think it was really fun. Pretty much just a wholesome date, even though Amity thought that everyone, everything was getting ruined because of the size difference and the roles might be a little bit swapped, you know, of the guy that might be carrying the girl, but the girl might be carrying the guy in this instance, but at the end, who was carrying who? Iduma was carrying Amity. How? Some kind of gravity fractal magic and he actually carried her which is really nice because i think amity has a lot of like uh inse insecurities and like complex because she's tall and strong which is great i think it's a fantastic feature but it's not the most feminine features that she might really want she wants to be adored and pampered like a little princess but i'm sorry you're a giant amazon warrior and i fucking love that i think yuma does too hey we're on the finale episode i'm not sure what's gonna happen last finale in season one was super hot it was kind of boring until the end and that shit was like Huh? Who is this? It was Evil Psycho Iruma. They gotta do something with the season 2 finale too, right? Let's see what happens. They always seem to do a little bit of recap in the finale episode. Like, oh, look at Opera's hat! Is that from the Walter? Uh, no. It's from the souvenir gifts. Opera's actually wearing it. <laughs> Obviously, Iruma's team. All up. No! Well. Okay, sure. Big feast. Oh, what's Kaligo getting? Oh, look, it's the, uh... Wait, is this one or... I think that's another souvenir hat for Clara that, uh... Did I already pick that up for Iruma, right? I think? Kaligo. <laughs> He's doing pink! <laughs> if all of them won, more homework for everyone. Yeah, I... <laughs> what kind of logic is that, but kind of true? Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> everybody's last place because everybody's first place. Kaligo, come on. Pretty funny. Oh, Solomon got the same hat. Everybody's wearing it. What are we gonna do? Some kind of setup for the future arc in season three, I would imagine. School supply shopping. Because he's so popular now. Because mm, again, remember. <laughs> The outcome of the Walter Park incident that... What? That's enough to give him a disguise? <laughs> what is this, some Clark Kent superhero, like Superman disguise? But he's like a... Yeah, his clout's gone super up. He was all over TV. If anything, I would be, expect people to like pop off about Sullivan. Yeah, he's one of the three greats that guy. Exactly, right? <laughs> like, this guy is, <laughs> is needed for Sullivan too. Press conference on TV. Wow. He's right there. He's right there, but the glasses. Yeah. You're avoiding the answer question. Yes, not the grandson at all. The glasses work really well. Every day of the week. Damn. Damn. Gramps is really spoiling him. I have one winter coat I wear every day. <laughs> then again, have you guys noticed that I only wear one th that white shirt every day for reactions? <laughs> yeah, it's for Kaigo. You look cute. <laughs> no, look at for his ear perk down. Come on. I think it would look perfect on Eggy Sensei. Bookstore. Textbooks. Textbooks are a fucking scam, man. Colleges, you go to college, you go to campus. Do, if you're a college student, do not buy it straight from the bookstore. Fucking rip. You can get all that shit torrented online for free. Free PDF, search it, Google it. 
I shouldn't be advocating for piracy, but you should pirate it. But sometimes they have, um, like if you have to do online homework, you can only get the code required to access that online homework if you get a new textbook, which is fucked. Like, it's crazy how, like, scam that is. Yes, we can. We used it on Amity. Oh, you used it on yourself. Oh, wait, Sully did it on him. He can use it on himself to fly. Wait. Wait! We can fly that way without wings! Also, it's still sketch that he doesn't show his wings. Because he doesn't have wings. He can make other people fly too. <laughs> Isn't that kind of fun? Okay, he was shoplifting. I was like. <laughs> he just fucked up a random customer. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, that fractal spell is really. Really versatile. You can use it to make yourself fly, and also you can just like gravity drop him. Intentionally keeping himself from becoming a demon king. I don't know why. Obviously, and he should he should be higher than Ted. He should be Yod, but he like he intentionally nerves himself. Why? Why could that be the case? Because he wants Edomai to be a demon king, but hmm. Okay. Nice day of shopping. <laughs> the way that I, I just look at operas like ears or tail flicker that's all I like, I, like look at bye bye some one on one time we're gonna have a serious talk about something hmm what are we doing Gramps other than spoiling Edoma here we go yeah it's been a fucking blast Oh, if you smile like that, it's all I must like. Oh, so cute. The new term. This is all season three stuff, I guess. First term was only orientation. So we got a whole new world of surprises to come. Like, if you think about it, we're still kind of in tutorial land, I guess, huh? Even after, like, what? This is like 44 episodes. We're still kind of just in the early stages of this series, huh? Hmm? Okay! Here we go! This is some serious shit. He should directly ask him, why don't you become the Demon King? You gotta become Yod rank and then you gotta get like, nominated I guess? But why is he all of a sudden interested in the Demon King question? I wonder. I thought he had no interest in that. But we're back to... Whoa. This is the 13, I think? Yeah, the 13 crowns. The master. Oh, this is a long time ago. Back in, um... What was his name? Dracula, I think? Yes, yes. Is Sullivan calling out? In his youth? Oh shit, this is some important shit! So Sullivan used to serve Dracula. Oh. How old was Sullivan back then? I wanna know, cause the face is covered! I... The missing demon- What happened to him? Why is he- his design is sick. He's also a giant. Like Sullivan is tall, but Dracula is bigger. He doesn't like being cooped up. He doesn't like being cramped, but he wants the freedom. You created this. It's beautiful. We hardly get anything about, like, really important plot. Finally, we're getting it. Sachan. Oh, that's his nickname. They call him Sully, but he calls him Sachan. Mm -hmm. Sachan. Sachan. Does he see Dracula in Iruma? Sorry, sorry. Does he see Dracula in Iruma, not Sachan? Because we faded away from Dracula's face to Iruma. Hmm. You know the Demon King prophecy scroll said like the Demon King is supposed to be from a foreign land. Right, that's the most important one of the most important things, and he's from Earth and therefore he's from a foreign land, but was Dracula also not from 
around here. Does it apply like that? Is he also from a foreign land? Is that why? I, I don't know. He had horns. You gotta get to Yoda at least. I think that's one of the main requirements. And then you get nominated. Yeah, the 13 big top dogs. He's one of the big three, but that's included in the 13. Yes. Oh, more faces that. No, no, no. We've seen a couple of them yet yeah, on the table. Henry and as that's his mom. Where's Bal? They don't suspect that Bal is evil, huh? Wait, did I miss something there? They need to like unite the 13? I... Okay. Charge of the most of the netherworld. And the Dirkla disappeared because he was annoyed at all this work and he's like, I want to be free. All of it. Every. What's all? Is the netherworld itself. We haven't seen much of the netherworld outside of just the school, though. Like, even this new place is, like, new to us. Like, this supermarket place. Mm -hmm. Go left. And they would have to... But there's no path. Oh. They would create a path, okay. I'm like, well, they just walk down, you know, to their death. This is all, like, his explanation so far is very abstract. <laughs> but okay, pretty cool. So Sully, why don't you assume that position? The current of the world. Mm-hmm. What about it? I mean, it's pretty peaceful. It's extremely peaceful here. It's not very hostile. And in fact, that's exactly what Bal wants to kind of revert. I may eventually be able to become... I may. So he hasn't completely forsaken. <laughs> Grant said that. Hey, go back to your serious plot! He said I may, but I... Would he? This is the one. He scouted Irma just for this, right? He wants him to be the Irma, uh, Demon King. Just like how he served uh, uh, Durkula. Maybe one day Sullivan will also serve Irma like that when he becomes a Demon King, but... How long would that take? Bro, I don't know how many seasons of anime we're gonna need for that. I wonder how far the manga we're at. Oh, we take off the disguise. Everyone's gonna be like, it's Iruma! <laughs> what kind of netherworld would it be? Even more peaceful and happy, I guess, considering Iruma's personality. I doubt that Dirkula was more like vanilla and soft as Iruma, right? There's no way. Unless, unless, I don't know. He's actually thinking about it though. What kind of netherworld would you create? A human creating a netherworld. Hmm. Tell me what you're thinking! That'll be, it'll be, we'll be fine. Whoa! What are these designs? Wait, wait, what the fuck is this shit? And that's the season of Mighty Mash Seidimakun Season 2. At the end though, what were those designs? They look very similar to the poster of Season 3. So I guess we're going to go through new power-ups and new everything. Man, Clara's got like a foul foul hood on and she's got all these different, I don't know, things coming out of her pocket. And Edom is like shooting a bow with Ali, I guess. And Azaz kind of have a ponytail to, I guess, replicate Edom too. But I guess Season 3 is going to be so much fun. But damn. We just finished season two. I guess we're gonna have to wait many years for season three to come around, huh? Psych! Good thing I got fucking eight episodes lined up to watch immediately, so I'll get on that right away. But hey, if you stick down this song and if you enjoyed my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube logo push out my small channel to recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of the favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.